Hi guys, it's Var in the flesh. Hope you guys are doing well. Finally found some time and here I am. Like Bonnie says, I'm a dog but I don't care because I really want you guys to see me also. I'm not looking my best because farm work has taken a lot out of me. Um, I'm really tired and really tattered from working really, really hard. So I hope you guys don't mind but I hope that you do find enjoyment in this vid and watching Var make a fool of herself. So, um, just wanted to thank Margaret for tagging me, Margaret. And I've been dreading to do this vid now for a couple of weeks, but since the other um, girls have done theirs, I, you know, have to do mine also. So, I wanted to do a hand one instead, but Margaret says, uh, you know, she would love to see me also. So, ta da! Here I am, Margaret. I finally made the effort <laughs> and put on some makeup for you guys today and I haven't had makeup on for the like the past three years so um, in that three years I've only had probably makeup on only about three times and today when my um, two sons saw me one said mom mom what happened <laughs> and the other one said oh I remember these times mom so I was laughing my head off and it was really really funny so it was a good time um, to have a good laugh with my kids so thank you Margaret for making me a laughing stock like I posted on Facebook and if you guys haven't followed me on Facebook I'll put my link down below I do post a lot of sneak peeks and farm pictures and stuff like that on my Facebook quite often because it's really fast to upload on your phone while um, on on YouTube it takes forever to upload only a few minutes you know it takes forever so I hope you guys don't mind um, hearing me blabber a little bit so I wanted to share a little bit of, um, of information about myself and what I do. I'm a busy farmer. I have a farming business and I've been doing um, farming for three years now, uh, both my hubby and I, and we have four children. And the past three years, we've just been farming nonstop. I work seven days in summertime and six days in wintertime, and I only get Mondays off in winter time. That's why you guys don't see a lot of projects from me because farm work is really high maintenance. We gr try and grow as much as we can but only what we can handle only because it's only the two of us working there and our children do help out in summertime with picking beans and stuff like that but uh, we do take it a little bit slower or try to take it slow in winter time also um, and I only get Monday off like I mentioned on uh, um, like in winter time because you know working you know really long hours and a lot of days at the farm just makes you really really tired so on Mondays I like to go do a bit of thrifting pay my bills or spend a little bit of time crafting also that's why a lot of my vids are uploaded on a Monday or a Tuesday only that's why um, I don't have time any other days because I'm too busy I'm always at the farm working from dusk to dawn pretty much so that's why I don't do a lot of tutorials. I do apologize if my subbies would like more tutorials from me. I just don't have the time at the moment, but I hope, you know, when I do retire from the farm, hopefully about eight years time, I'll be able to, you know, to share more with you guys. So that's just a little bit about myself. And let's go ahead and do the five tag questions that I have been tagged by Margaret to do. And the first question is, what or who has inspired you um, to craft pretty much um, I came across YouTube uh, a little bit over four years ago now and um, I was just browsing on there and I was just got really fascinated by all the visas that you like that are on the sidebar and I just started clicking on them and but for what I can remember the people has, who has inspired me um, the first person will be Esther Craft, uh, who is Esther. I haven't seen her for a while now, so I hope she's doing great. Hi, Esther. Um, and for flower making, it will definitely be Star Crafters. Um, lovely Scrapping, which is Leanne. And um, I enjoyed watching Juliana also, who is, who is um, I love uh, vintage scrap here on YouTube. So those other people. Um, what is your favorite me medium to work with and you guys know I love fabric I've been really into fabric journals at the moment and um, Fabric would definitely be what I would choose for my favorite medium What is your favorite color you guys know I love peachy pink. Um, I love nudes and I love uh, flesh I'm a really feminine person and um, that I work hard at the, at the farm and I'm really tattered and the farm does take a lot of its toll on me and I never, you know, look as best as I used to anymore but 
Um, you know, in the past I looked great, but you know, I struggled a little bit. Now we have the farm. The farm has taken care of my family and we are a lot more happier than we used to be. And, and I don't look that great, but I'm more happy on the inside. Um, so nudes, flesh and peachy pink, are my, I would say, are my favourite colours. All colours that's in that sort of like light coloured tone, the pastel. Uh, four um, is uh, name three products that you would take with you to a desert island. I would definitely take glue um, of some sort if they don't have power to use hot glue. I would take lace and I would take fabric also because you can just stick those on anything and it will just look beautiful. Um, if you were a product, which, um, which and what will you be and why? I would definitely be lace, um, like I mentioned, because um, you know anything can be just plain or whatever, and just slap on a little bit of lace on there will just make it look beautiful, really glamorous, really feminine. It can give you, you know, different feels depending on what you add to your project, whether it's shabby, vintage, or just tattered. Lace can do all those for you. Um, so they are my five questions. So I've decided to tag any. Uh, who is Miss Gun and Grove One, um, as well as Janet, who is Scrappy Happy XO, and the other person is Kimmy, who is Kimmy B09, I think. And um, I've got one reply. Janet has said yes, but I haven't heard from the other two girls yet. So hopefully they'll say yes also. So thank you guys for stopping by and watching um, this um, funny vid of VAR but I hope that you guys do enjoy it and see me in the flesh also and have an idea of what I, I look like also so thank you so much Margaret for tagging me now you see me be a dork on vid and I hope you are happy <laughs> I love you and I love you guys thanks for watching hey guys just want to share a quick sneak peek of my not so messy craft room at the moment for you guys to have a look at up here is my new really beautiful chandelier and it's quite bright so I'll share with you guys the one that's in the distance there it is there it's not quite finished yet my room is still a bit messy but here's what I have done so far here's my beautiful art of cake um, collection and there's more to this collection but I haven't had time to put in display yet so all my blings, I love my blings as you guys know, it's all my beautiful treasures, cameo collection, vintage art deco jewellery, aurora borealis necklaces, more aurora borealis, really beautiful, and my hoarded vintage laces, up on this beautiful shelving. Everything's so sparkly. I'm gonna put more stuff there. It's my mannequins, my dress forms. Another one there. There's my shabby shelf. More shabby shelf over here to put all my goodies in, but not yet done. Just in the process. Behind here was like a roller door, garage door, and I've turned it into a fake window. More dress forms, more bling. It's my lovely bling trims that I love and adore. More mannequins, more dress forms, vintage bags, more bling. My collected um, perfume bottles and whatnots. They're all crystal, all these ones here because I collect crystal. It's my vintage handbags, my vintage mirror. Lots of yummy, yummy goodies and my love, love, love stick pins from Bonnie. There, some flowers in my cupcake little tiered thingy. So that's just a quick room tour for you guys to have a look at at the moment. The other side is a little bit unorganized at the moment. That's where I'm up to. So that's my fake window. Let me try and get it in frame. It's like a really big roller door, but I made it into like a, a, a fake window. It's really nice. I hope you guys like my quick little sneak peek. Love you guys. Bye.